In this video, we're going to be talking about part two of our Ravens free ebook uh, for you guys. We're going to be talking about the gun spread Y flex formation with the uh, Ravens half vaccine. This is kind of the, the part two to the part one. We talked about circle first. Um, there's a lot we could do with that play, but we're going to leave it as is for right now because I want to talk a little bit more about kind of the next play. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and what we do is we basically help people get better at the game. Uh, we break down passing schemes, running schemes, offensive and defensive uh, tips and tricks and tactics that you can use um, to be able to get better at the game. And so if you want to get better at the game, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button, but I'd also want to ask that you would consider becoming a true fan of the channel. True fans of this channel are Patreons of this channel. I'm going to leave a link to my Patreon down in the description. And what you get by becoming a Patreon is you basically always get the most up-to-date offense and the most up-to-date defensive schemes and tactics in the community. So as soon as something new pops, I do a video on it. We do three videos a week covering the meta. So like what is the most effective tactic available this week on offense and on defense and we also cover uh, basically we break down pro players and exactly what they are doing step by step through that process so if you have not become a true fan yet I'd encourage you to do so it's a great opportunity to get better at this game and it's just five bucks a month so it's pretty cheap and uh, we'll get you better pretty much instantly so anyways we're going over spread wide flex and we're gonna be going over this play uh, Raven half vaccine this is a very very good play because of the way that it attacks the seam routes um, in this formation. Now, one thing I will tell you is you have to kind of make an, a, a decision. And honestly, it is, I think it's better if you run this with your running back or like, like you run this with your two receivers to the wide side of the field. I just think it's a little bit better that way. You don't have to do that, but it's what I would recommend. Okay, and the reason why is because it's going to allow us to do a simple route combination on the right side and still be able to attack the seams on the left side. So that's why I like to do that, okay? So basically what we're gonna do is relatively simple. This is really, really good for cover three. So if they're in cover three zones, um, this is just a really, really good play for that. So basically we have to anticipate that their user is going to initially recognize that the running back is someone that he's gonna have to look out for. And so because of that, he's going to kind of sit right over here in this area. And we want to make him pay for making that decision. And so the best way that I know to do this is to simply take the circle receiver and put him on an out route. And then we have this nice little drag here. If you want to streak him, you can. I think it works better if you just leave him on the drag um, or a slant. Okay, drag or slant. You could also post um, I do, I've had success with a post right there as well, um, but something that gets them going to the middle of the field. And then triangle is really the read here. So like quick seam to triangle, if they're holding with their user on the right side because they notice the running back is over there, um, and you're going to be able to tell pretty quickly. So like if you see something like this, that's where your first read becomes your quick seam to the left, okay? Um, if in the main because if they're doing zone drops over here they're not going to be able to defend that seam route uh really at all um you'll see here if i motion the tight end i can get him to come a little bit more in and i can get circle to go a little bit more out so it looks very similar to the circle play um you could shriek the tight end i don't want to i don't want to do I mean, you can um you know, you, you, you could fade him, you could streak him, you can do whatever you want. If you want to tag him as a, a drag, uh, I've had, like I said, I've had the success with a post route. Um, this is just kind of the idea here. And what we're going to get is we're going to get this low ball to that seam right there if they're in cover three off the, off the jump. The really cool part about this play, though, is if they're in something like a Tampa 2, and let's say that they are trying to really in, in, increase their underneath coverage, and they're going to use her like right here, and they see the running back, and that running back's going to hold. If that running back holds them just for a second, just for a split second, we're going to be able to hit this route to triangle. So you're going to see he holds, and then we can pass lead this inside and in some touchdown uh, almost every time against cover 2. You, this Ravens halfback scene play is very versatile. It can do a lot of different things uh, for you. 
I'm just saying, you know, my biggest thing with this is, you know, if they're in a traditional cover three, I will say this. The one thing I don't like is the seam route is coming from the slot. I wish that seam route was coming from the X. Um, you can create, and you can create that, but with their user, typically their user is going to user in this box right here. Okay, just from my experience, that's where they're gonna be. So they're gonna almost be like a, not a middle third, but like an inside quarter. Okay, so like if I put this guy, like let me just do this here real quick. So it would look like this. This is kind of what they're gonna do. Okay, and they're gonna they're gonna basically you know pick and choose in that box what they're gonna cover. The cool part is because of the um, because of the route on the on the on the left, Godwin, you can actually smart route this route as well. So you see that he can wait to make his cut to the inside if you want. So it keeps him outside a little bit more. And you can pass lead that. You know, you can basically just sharp. It's 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 a gunslinger is going to make this a little bit easier. But you can, it's a really sharp lead. And you can basically just thread the needle between the seams. Um, if you see cover three, what I would recommend is pass leading it. I would either low ball it or I would pass lead it down and away. So let's say, for example, they do something. This is just for an example, but let's just say they do something like this, where they put a yellow zone over there. Um, and I just want to really reiterate that their user, more than likely, in this defense, is going to be forced to sit right in this little box right here from the way that they're going to structure it, okay? So um, let's say, you know, you do this, and you see yellow. You're still pass leading it to the left. As you can see right there, cover three, you pass lead to the left. Now cover two, you pass lead inside. Let me talk briefly about like a cover three cloud. Um, cover three cloud is gonna be pretty much the same because you see how it rolls, um, it rolls to the right. So like if they're in some type of cover three cloud, you shouldn't have you know much of a difference. It should just be right there, pop it, easy, quick read, um, just like that. The other thing I wanna go over though is cover four. So how do you, how do you run streaks for verticals against cover four basically is what I wanna hit on. Um, and that's where I, I said, like, this running back route is really, really good. Um, I just think it's really unique. Um, but also, if you just take a look at this triangle receiver for a second, all you're going to do, pass lead inside immediately and cut it off. Pass lead inside immediately and cut off. Your first read has to be the seam. Your first read has to be the seam. Now, so what this is going to force your opponent to do, and we're, you're noticing a trend with this, but basically... Um, the more that we work the left side, the more he's going to have to start to peel there at the snap of the ball. So in this example, you're going to see that the user is very likely going to, if he runs to the, to the left at the snap of the ball, then what we're going to be able to do is, number one, we're going to have our seam right up the seam here to X. Okay. That's why I like to run more of a, a three vertical or four. You know, three vertical with a curl, or three vertical with a comeback, or three vertical with an out. Um, so if they don't have anyone in the middle of the field, um, you know, you're going to be easily able to to throw that. Okay. Now, let's say for example, they do something like this, where they put a put the safety in a hook. Okay. Um, this is something that you will see. I guarantee it because they're on the short side, so they're saying, okay, we're going to run a, a yellow zone on the short side to protect against these like seams and stuff. So if they do that, you just wait. It's gonna get over the yellow zone, easy read, and and bam, you know, you're off. Um, but the other thing about this, and really the hidden gem, let me give you another way that people will defend this formation. So another way that they'll defend it is they'll do something like this, where they where they basically man up the seams, and then they're gonna use her that crosser. This is a very popular way that people will defend this offense. This is where uh, not only can you pepper them with your out route, which we talked about in our previous video, but this is where the running back really does come in handy. You see there's nobody covering him. Nobody. Um, nobody covers the running back. In this offense, what people are, what you're going to force people to do, this is why I really like the way this playbook actually does um, the running back routes. You're going to force them to have to man up the running back. The problem is when you run man coverage on a running back this year, it's kind of a cat and mouse game because there's so many routes that can beat man to man from a running back's perspective that it's not that big of a deal. But as you can see here, if they just run a traditional Mabel coverage and they go to the left, 
it's an easy read to the to the back okay um, now let me show you one other little adjustment if you're anticipating that it might be man-to-man -man, um, or you start to notice that they're their tendency, they're, they're tending to do a lot more man coverage. Well, first of all, I want to, I want you to notice one little thing. If I'm in a traditional cover two man, look at who's guarding the running back now. You see, it's this guy. Their users over here, and he's gonna want to go play, you know, the po. He's gonna want to basically rob her right in this middle, okay? So he's not gonna want to play this. This is where this Ravens halfback seam is also really, really good. Because if it's man coverage and the man coverage is all the way across the field, then it's another easy read. It's just pop, throw, easy, get a couple yards. You can easily do that, okay? Um, but if you want more of a traditional way to beat man coverage and you still want to be able to run your four verticals in case you might, you know, just in case they're they're running zone or whatever, um, this is a good option here. So they're going to more than likely – and let's just – I just don't see them manning this guy up on the running back. I guess they could, but it's just not a good look. But anyways, if they did, um, then what you can do with your running back is start to really work your, your back route. So um, you can run the same concept, right, as you see. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to put the running back on either an in route or a option route or a Texas route or a curl. Okay, any of those are going to be man to man. I like the option route the best, and you'll see cuts the outside for an easy read. Okay, so you've got options when it comes to you know when it comes to that. Now, if you're anticipating that it's man to man and it's not in zone coverage, I want to talk briefly just about the Antonio Brown route. This is why I actually like to. Um, I actually like. So you're also going to force them to play man coverage because. They're going to have to have a safety over the top uh, because if they don't have a safety over the top, you can throw the square receiver against press man. So they're either going to have to have a safety or they're going to have to shade coverage up. This is where I really like to use this curl route to the circle receiver. And then if I want to, I will actually typically run this back on a in route just because it gives, you know, a man beater on the right, a man beater on the left. But basically you'll see here against pretty much any coverage, you can throw these curls. Uh, Brady Brady's like not the best quarterback to do this with uh, just because he doesn't have gunslinger but if, if he if he had gunslinger and let me just show you what I'm talking about so what you'll see is you'll see something like this from time to time where they put their purples out there to try to stop the curl route or to try to stop some of those you know slants and stuff so then that's where you can um, that's where these this fade to square will almost always get over the top because it's a stock fade it gets over the top really, really nicely against the um, against the man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing I didn't talk about, and this is also why I like to have the running back over on this side of the field. Let's say they run Tampa two. Tampa two is becoming a very popular coverage online right now. And let's say they take the middle linebacker, they throw him in the deep middle, and then they're going to use her, you know, down in there. If they do that, number one, they're going to, you know, they're not going to get a ton of pressure just because of the way the coverage is going to work out for them. But let's just say you go back to your base setup here. And if you watch this square receiver, basically you're just going to pass lead him to the left once he gets over the cloud. Pretty easy little read. So Ravens halfback seam has a lot of answers for a lot of different things the defense is going to do. Um, it's one of the best red zone plays. What I like to do in the red zone, that's where I really like to put um, – and there's you can freestyle out of this too. So another combination that you can do is you could out circle, you could post Gronkowski – you could put, uh, and then you could put triangle on a, a hitch, right? This is another little way that you can do this with a with an out with a quick out to square. You know, if they're if they're putting their coverage back, now you've got double out routes that you can run. You've also got a nice little post, um, you know, that you can use. The other cool part about this is you can motion uh, circle across if you wanted to. But this is a really good. This is like a really really good red zone play. Because they basically have to choose between the post and the and the wheel route. So, anyways, Ravens have vaccine has a lot of opportunities. This is just kind of the base version of it, really capitalizing on hitting the seams against pretty much any coverage. Um, real quick, if they do run like man to man and they're shading inside underneath, this route to triangle um, is not terrible. If you pass it inside, you see how he can get over him. Now again, you saw Davis was there. Um, 
It would it would have to be like a really sharp inside and up pass lead, but you can't. There is a window that you can hit this, um, especially if there's no safety over the top. But if there's, you, you know, let me just try to show this to you. So again, you're just waiting, passing inside, click on, and you see you can get kind of get inside position. Um, so you can mess around with that. That's not something that I normally throw, but that's just something you can mess around with um, if you if you want to. If they're shading up, the window's not quite as good. You see, um, you see, you just can't hit it. So that's where you just want to work your curl routes. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. And if you want to get um, my most up-to-date schemes every single week, I would encourage you to join our True Fan membership, our Patreon. It's just five dollars, and it's in the description. It gets you the best offense uh, of tip every single week. It gets you the best defensive tip every single week, and it gives you the best. Uh, pro player breakdowns in the community in my opinion we go really in depth about what the pros are doing the best of the best in the world are doing so thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to join the true fan membership you can do that by clicking the link down in the description